right? Call Halan Yahweh by Simi outside, by Shema Kalkadash. The other honors of the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who yep. taught us this truth. That's right. Honors and salutations to Austin Seachim throughout the four corners of the earth, labor and honesty, sincerity, charity, and the sound doctrine. All right, with the Hebrew Israelites, we come out here week in and week out, prophesying the downfall of America according to the Bible, man. And like, yo, America's on its way out. You got this whole uh, caravan thing coming, coming to America, man, you know? When they got like, uh, I think Trump want to put 1,500 uh, uh, soldiers down there at the border with guns, the the uh, the, the fight against um, innocent, uh, basically uh, migrants or immigrants without any weapons, you know. So that's showing Trump being the devil in itself. That's Matter right. Fact, grab Danny Trouble, uh, what, 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 sorry. That's being the devil in itself. So those, those Mexicans are Issacharites, all right? They're Israelites. So what's the Lord doing? He's starting with the house of Yasserala. He's starting with, he start with us, man, all right? And he's, he, he's about to take care of the two-thirds of our people, you know? But that, that's going to be a, 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 a messy situation right there. That's right. You know, you got all them people coming, trying to get to America, which I don't even know why you want to come here anyway, man. <laughs> You know, this place is fucked up, man. Nah. You know? It's like you live in a messed up apartment building and you keep seeing new tenants. Like, God, yeah. <laughs> like yo, we God, trying yeah, to get God. out of here. That's right, coming in here. Yeah, man. Come. Damn, come. Yo, that's, that's a hell of a comparison. Nah, <laughs> the pipes is out. The yeah, walls is moving. The niggas like, yo, we got to move in. Yeah. You know, like America, yeah, come. And then being as though the town we're living in and how, how, how distorted America is, come. You know what I'm saying? And America's uh, uh, secrets have, has, has been uh, exposed, right? you know? America's shame has been uncovered and people still want to come here. Come. Like, you got out your goddamn mind, man. You better off staying where you at. And Esau's starting to show his horns as the, uh, of the devil who he is. Come. You know? From the book of Daniel. Chapter 12, verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time in trouble. Salaki. There shall be a time of trouble. Such as never had Salaki. Never was since there was a, a nation. Right, even right. The, the same time. That's right. And at that time thy people shall be delivered. Right, so read, read that, read, read that part, the, the, the one that part right up before them people start to deliver. Come, come, come. And there shall be a, thou shalt be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation come. even to that same time. Come, that's what I wanted, with. because it's talking about that time, that time of trouble. That's Jacob's trouble. Come, and look at, look at, uh, uh, um, it, it, it's, it's a car. It's Jake, they Jake's, and they trying to come in here, but yo, and yo, what's crazy about that shit, man, is um, it's a car was here first. That's right. You know, along with Gad and Ruben. Kind. You know. That's right. And um, so now they they trying to come back, basically like, yeah, we come back to our land, but this is this ain't our land. You know what I'm saying? This this place was uh, was set up for a reason. You know, to be destroyed. But they try to come back here and what? They, they try to uh, uh, tell them they can't come, man. And they gonna start putting them people to death, man. But try to come. That's right. Boy, Keep going. Yeah, come. So like it. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. That's right. So in this up and coming time, like Jacob's trouble is coming, man. Like it's right around the corner, man. You know, brothers was hoping that it, that 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 it would happen before, but guess what? It's not. It's not in our time, our time frame. It's all in your whole boss time frame. Man. That's right. <clears throat> you know, so we can't jump the gun, man. You know. But like, what's that? Ecclesiastes, uh, 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 three, verse, verse, uh, starting chapter three, and you go on down from one and go down. And it tells you about a time and place for everything. That's right. 
So right now it's the time for the what? For America's destruction to be at hand. Man. That's right. And it's right here. You got uh 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 um what's that? Iraq. <clears throat> they just um uh um they 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 got they they got mad at America because they wasn't they wasn't on the exempt list from from the Taurus, you know. Which the Taurus is, is the taxes on trade, you know. You got all these other nations um uh, uh backing out of what um the the American dollar, man. That's right. They they getting away from that, you know. Then you got um. Then what they sell the oil in uh, different currencies and shit. So the American dollar is trash, man. That's right. You know? The American dollar ain't shit. It's a lot. Huh. And another thing, to pick on uh pick up where you left off on Issachar. Right, right. You know how he trying to impeach people. You know. They're talking about impeachment of Trump and how he's trying to put, what did he say, the, the birthright? How he trying to send everybody back? If you're not, if you're not a part of the, gen, uh, the third, up to the third generation. Well, it's funny because his family's not up to the third generation. I'm talking about his wife's side. You know? And, 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 and when you think about it, his people as a whole should be, should be taken back no matter what generation. Right. Because like like brother said, this was Issachar land first. Or or uh, Issachar and Gad and Reuben's land before. Before it was uh, 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 part of our um captivity. God. You know? God. What no Romans around here, now it's Romans up. Now it's just Roman yeah, Roman. Yeah, you know like <laughs> fucking Romans. <laughs> but but the thing about it is the thing about it is it's such contradictory when when you see him make moves like that, and, and and it makes you think of America's ways and how what would you say how how, how America's shame has been revealed. That's right. That's right the bro. secrets is being revealed. That's right, bro. You know, Con, you got. Oh, damn, but no, they heathen, so they can they, 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 they heathen, so you know, mobile can book out. Mobile can do that. Yeah, carry them pocketbook. Pocketbook on, bro. On box. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Carry them pocketbooks. Yeah, exactly, bro. You know what I mean? Hopefully you got some protection for these last days. Yeah. Because when these race wars break out, you already know you like I'm it's it's blatant who who's who's losing out here. Yeah, 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 you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Revelation 17. Not, so, not, that's no, I mean it's just like uh it's, it's just what it is. It's like as far as the uh 13 one. Um, I'm bringing this. Uh, what about the like it's like it's just it's just as when, once that stuff break out, once you know once these wars break out, and you see them brewing up every day, they they come out with more and more explicit uh, information. Okay. You know, more and more. Um, uh, I would say uh, evidence. It become more evident that something's bound to happen. That's right. Because not only do they attack our people the way they are, as far as the, uh, the Af African American or or uh, the uh, people of uh, Judah, you know, as far as myself, but they taking uh, but the people that's on the other side of these borders. You see how they treating them? You think the people that's they not going? You think we not going to want to revolt against that type of stuff? Yeah. Uh, 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 and and, and, um, and uh, what would you call it? Um, Damn, what they call that? The uh, the uh, Renaissance. You think it's not gonna be another Renaissance? Yeah, that's the renewal. The renewal, yeah. But that's what the whole kingdom is about. It's a is a renewal. It's a, it's a renewal of establishment of governments. That's right. You know, and it's gonna be our government that's that's new, that's established. Con. That's that's gonna be our Renaissance ever. And that's a lot. No, con. Wait. No, I was gonna say that 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 just um that further proves that the prophecy on uh the reason why jacob's hand was on esau's hill Con. you know what i'm saying to pull him right out of power pull him out of power you know? and or latch on to know that he's coming right after you come out of power right, huh? like it doesn't like and, and the grip is going to be how the, the grip is symbolism for how 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 close it is because you got to think about it it's still another piece of the foot under the hand 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so you gotta think about it. Like, it, it'll overlap. You probably won't even see it coming. Yeah. So, you know, let me bring this precept out for my brother. Uh, from the Book of Revelation, chapter 17 and verse one. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither. I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. That's right. So down this scripture right here, and, that, and that, that's why I really wanted to bring it out, man, because we get into the time of what? American destruction. That's right. You know? You starting to see the uproars of people in, in, in uh, different different uh, places and shit. Was that uh, 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 second heaven now? Yeah. You know, the night's happening. You know? Come. So you started the earthquakes and Davos places and all that shit, man. Hurricanes, all yeah, that. Yeah, come, man. Yo, matter of fact, what was that? Uh, Hur Hurricane Michael. Come. You know? Come. And that, and they said that was one of the worst hurricanes in decades. Just man. one after another. Yeah, kind of. What was, uh, what's the name? Irma was before yeah, that? Yeah, Or, or uh, the one that went through Haiti and all that? Oh, you know? yeah, come, 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 come. Uh, and that, yo, and jacked up pretty soon. Come. What and the it's, floor? And all, all, all those hurricanes travel what? The transatlantic state yeah, tree. It travels that, that line. Man. That's symbolism right there. You should right. know what's going on. And it comes what? From up, from the bottom, all the way up. All the way up. Up, 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 up here and shit. No. And, and as far as the precept go, where is this place that's sitting on many waters? Yeah, you right. got the Atlantic on this side. But nah, when it's talking about when it's saying many waters, there's many people. No, I, I understand. I'm just talking about where the land is. Oh, God, it's God. in the midst of water. Yeah, God, God. You know, you the continent sits on water. Pacific on one side, the Atlantic on the other. Uh, but that's, that's the, 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 the Because you got people that came from all over the world. Nah, God, nah, nah. I, I know, I know. I, I, feel, I feel you on that. I'm just talking about the symbolism of it, to where as though you, like, as far as the precept goes, yeah, it's, it's, it's the, uh, what you call it, the, um, the metaphor, the metaphor for our people, definitely, or, 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 the, or the, for the prophecy, yeah, yeah. but as far as the, the place is, the location of the place, literally, is sitting on waters, yeah. it's sitting on many waters, you know, so, you know, like, you can look at it as a literal standpoint when you're just looking at it, but, like, like I guess for the carnal mind, you know, I know everybody is not as uh, not as into the truth as, or uh, you say as spiritual as as mo as we are. You know, into this truth. You know what I mean? So I, I just like spelling stuff out for for the le uh, lesser learned people. You know. Uh, keep going, keep going. Uh, verse two, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the with the wine of her fornication that's right so the kings of the earth is talking about all these different uh rulers rulers in these different nations right? that's right those are the kings of the earth you got what your prince Tra uh charles and shit. Come. you know you got your uh um, um vladimir Putin. Come. you had your saddam hussein with the queen uh you know? with oh queen uh elizabeth elizabeth, elizabeth yeah, yeah well, she a queen that's crazy in itself you know but like you got all these different places, you got, uh, well I think Kim Jong-un, he ain't going for that shit. Come. But you got all these different places, and uh, and America has its ties in all of them, man. You know? They ain't, and how they, how they eat delicious to where you don't want to chop up on the show? With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication. So committed fornication with America as they follow his doctrines, his policies and all that. Touch. You know? Go ahead. And the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. That's right. So they've been, they've been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. That that drunkness is the policies too, man. That's right. You know? Because look, you, you see the uh, the Moabites that was just walking past here. Right. Now, if they was over there and they, man, they wouldn't be wearing no goddamn pocketbooks like that, man. They got to up the head. Yeah, so they the got fine with the devils. Uh -huh. You know? Because over there, you got to look up, you got our rack and all that, man. And they set up these different people and set up set up uh, their their uh, um, what you say military bases over there. Yeah. And the people that live on them sites and everything that's American territory, mm -hmm. they live in caves. While everybody else around them looking at them like, damn, these niggas easy, man. I want to be like them. So what they do, they try to get down with them. So now you get drunk on that wild fornication. Come. Are they are they sick? No. And that's what all the nations did. And for that. Guess what? These days, it's, 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 a, it's a consequence of that. 
Time. That's why when these missiles shoot off, and it's not it's not going to destroy the whole earth, but America's going to be completely destroyed, which we're going to get into that. You know? America's going to be completely destroyed. And then you got, uh, but um, but you did you, you got uh, 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 uh verse three. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast, full of a name of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. So that's a different, that's a different move. Right? Keep going. Verse 4. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color. And decked with gold. Yes. Let's talk about this. This ain't no joke. Why is that joke? Who else are you learning? 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 They just see like, no, listen, man. These people really think it's a game. It's not a game. It's not a game. It's not a game. When y'all see famine, death and destruction coming in. Then everybody going to want to wise up and open their eyes, man. Yeah, real life. No? Shree, shree, shree. Boy, Boy, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not. Real life. They should be in the house. And that, that goes to say, look, man, they, they must have been. Huh? You know, they want to be this man. Look at it, man. And it's always out. Oh, 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 Grab the uh, five or not. Who's that? Who's that one? Let me drop these. Yeah, drop them. Grab the line and five or not. And this is going to explain, you know, the reason why these little niggas is like they are. You know? The most I forgot about it. You know? Why? Because of the sins of their what? Their parents did. You know? And they didn't, then we all are, we all are forefathers. We incarnated, we back in the day of incarnation, right? You know? Check it out. From the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5 and verse 9. Thou shalt not bow down thy self unto them. Nor serve them. Nor serve them. Nor serve them. Nor bow down thyself unto them. Nor serve them. For I, the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. Of them that hate me. Yeah, that's right. Read that one more time, right? Because these, these children right here, these are the children of the third and fourth generation, right? That's right. Go ahead, bro. From the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5 and verse 9. Thou shalt not bow down thyself unto them. And look, now they bow down. What they do? They bow down. Their forefathers bow down to what? These that's different gods, man. Yeah, yeah. They bow down to different gods, man. Like our people like worshiping who? Allah. That's not even a god, man. That's a freaking stone, man. That's why like the Muslims, they worship the Kaaba stone. That's and right. And a lot of these dudes that want to be Muslims, they never picked up a Quran, man. They just follow after what they see somebody else do. You know? Go ahead, bro. For I. Just like the, uh, sorry, just like the Christian church, too. The Christian church will read out the Bible, they read one scripture, and then go off in their own, own, own speeches, man. That's right. And they don't even teach, they, they don't, and they don't even follow the Bible, man. You know? They think it's a game. And they doing it for what? For the group of For I, the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, thy God, I'm a jealous God. That's right, the Lord is a jealous God. Well, who is he jealous of? He's jealous of his people, man. Like we, his people. So when we do something, it's like if you had a woman, and your woman went out and, and cheating on you. You're going to get jealous, man. You're going to get mad. You're going to want to fight. That's the same way the Lord is looking at us, man. You know, the Lord looks at his, his men as women, man. Because that's how men be acting nowadays. Like women, man. Go ahead, huh? 
visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. That's right, the iniquity is what? They sin, man, to the third and fourth generation. That's these children out here now. Why do you want to be sinning if Adam and Eve never ate the forbidden fruit? You know what the forbidden fruit might be? You brought me down last year. Technically speaking, yeah, we would still be sinning. Sin is just the uh, <clears throat> sin is just the transgression of the laws that the, that God put put uh put on the earth for the children of Israel. No, sin is sin. If your your choice is to sin. Then you you want to sin. But as far as Adam and Eve, they them eating that apple, or it wasn't really an apple. It was really knowledge of good and evil. That was their sin. Cause, cause his commandment to them was not to eat from the tree, so they sinned. So that was a sin. Grab a, grab, grab a Romans eight, eight and twenty. Watch this, bro. We got some. Cause out, we, out the way the Lord designed us, He designed us to sin. He designed us. We gonna go off, right? Cause there ain't none of us cause we in this flesh. But when we get there, we eat in our sons. But when we get into the kingdom, when we get our new body, we're not going to go off no more. You're going to know this by heart. Yeah, you're going to know the law, statutes, and commandments by heart, man. So it's going to be a part of it. So then he said, when God comes, break, like when judgment break, only thing that you can talk is your mouth. Everything else, you got to do. Like, like your body parts talk to you. So like your body parts, like your mouth tell everything that you say. Well, judgment day, judgment day is going to be when the missiles come over here and destroy America. That's judgment day. You know? And that's in the scripture. So hold up, read that. 8 and 20. From the book of Romans, chapter 8 and verse 20. For the, for the creature was made subject to vanity. See that? That's the creature that's us. He was made subject to vanity. This vanity, that's vain things. That's things that don't mean nothing. Like, look at what they're doing. That's vanity, man. Because what they're doing don't mean nothing at all. They out here acting a fool for what? No fair reason. Acting like they don't got no home training, which they probably don't. And that's what happens when you take the father out the house, man. You know? That's right. Not willingly. See, not willingly. Read that one more time. Try from the top. From the book of Romans, chapter 8 and verse 20. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly. So he said the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly. So you're not supposed to willingly sin, but you know it's wrong. Or you go out make a mistake and sin, there you are. You know what I'm saying? But the whole purpose is to try to, is to stay away as much as you can from the wrong thing, man. You know? Once you can. And like you like do like that, you ain't even supposed to be following that you said don't 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 follow the multitude to do evil. Man. You know? And that's what they all here doing. The women screaming and hollering the butter man and all that. You know? And in that day, I'm telling you, man, watching that day, they gonna see, man. They really gonna see how like what it really is, man. So it doesn't day when the movement comes. Yeah. That's right. America. Nah, America, and we're gonna have America's gonna be completely destroyed. Bottom line. Yeah, they're gonna bomb it. America's gonna be completely destroyed. And um, we're gonna have different parts of the earth that that get that that get hit too. And I said, no. Matter of fact, go back to uh, nah, um, Revelation. Revelation. So we can, but that's what we actually talk about. And it's going to tell you now, this this is the bad, that's the spirit, man. Because this is um going to get into how this place is going to go out. Go ahead, bro. Keep, uh, start from where I was at? Yeah, come. Go ahead, bring it up there. Go on, so. uh, but the, from the book of Revelations, chapter 17 and verse 3. So he carried me away in the spirit come. into the wilderness. And I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast come, full of names of blasphemy. Having seven heads and ten horns. Right. Verse 4. 
But that, that woman is, is American. Come. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color right. and, decked, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. So that's talking about all the delicacies that America has. You know? All the things that people that live in America yeah, don't yeah. want to let go. Exactly. Yep. Yep. And like if you like if you look at a how they gonna say a third world country, those people is pretty jacked up. They don't got what the things that America has. They don't got all the, the designer clothes, yeah. jewelry. They can they can barely even make like music how we how they make it over yeah, here. Yeah. Everybody try to come here to do stuff like that. Oh, right. that's why they want to Having gold, she was not Having golden cup in her hand, full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. A golden cup, now we're talking. America has a golden cup in the hands of the Lord. So that golden cup is just represents like. Um, Everything that goes on here. But it's all wicked. Read that part one more time, brother. It's all wicked. Man. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, and having a golden cup in her hand, full of abominations and, and, so like it, and filthiness of her fornication. Yeah, so that cup, when you had a cup to drink out of it, and America's making all these other different nations drink the bullshit that they be talking about. Come. Like, we're. So like the judgment days when God comes and take what he wants. But they take, take, take the people that was, that like follow Jews and worship him. Uh -huh. And he take them to um, Jubilation which is seven years. And then when you like get questions and stuff. And then you come back down to heaven where everything fits. Right. <laughs> well <laughs> So no, that's right. Yeah, no, that's not right. Because the 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 people that are gonna be seen is the elected Israel. Which is your government and their families are marketing. I'm telling you, it's 144,000 men that's going to be like how you got your government set up now. They're going to be the ones that can run the, the, run, uh, the, the world, basically. So you're telling me, so will y'all baptize? What you mean? You're baptizing with this word, it's like fire. Oh, so you're saying that Israel will be the one that's going to see it? That's Israel right there. So the, um, you're going to have 12,000 men from each one of those tribes that's going to be delivered up on them chariots. Those people call UFOs. Oh, so from the from the twelve things, so the American Negro twelve twelve thousand white people want to see. Well, you can say that, and but twelve thousand out of all of them. But each one of these twelve thousand out of each tribe. There's right. twelve tribes up here, but it's twelve thousand coming from each tribe. Right. And their families. And hundred forty four thousand. Matter of fact, you got uh Chico? Yeah, go ahead. Right. Verse 5. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and the so like, and abominations of the earth. That's right. So now that's talking about what was written was Mystery Babylon. Because back then, this is John the Revelator. And the Lord was showing him a visit of this place being destroyed. The same way they saw Ezra. The, 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 the prophet Ezra. He saw the miracles destruction. You know what I'm saying? So it was called Mystery Babylon. Babylon is Babar in the Hebrew, which just means confusion. You know what I'm saying? If you look around this place right now, it's nothing but confusion. You know? You got the women dressing like men, the men dressing like women. You even got like these, these transsexuals, you know what I'm saying? Transgenders and all that. You got, they starting younger and younger now, man. Come. You Come. Like, like eight years old, Come. you know? They got kids. Just, yeah, they just dressing little boy. Like they do, they be like, and this is how wicked Esau is. They adopt the black boy yep. and, and and raise him like a girl. Right? Like he like he like he a girl. Like grow his hair out, which is not really bad, but grow his hair out to make him look like a girl. Like yep. they put him in dresses. Yep. He grow up thinking he a girl and he a boy. Because Esau is a natural born homosexual. Man. That's right. I know. As a matter of fact, I was doing some research, and when the since you're talking about the whore, the prostitute, because yo. You could do whatever the hell you want in America. You could be whatever you want. Huh. You know? That's why the Lord is going to destroy this people. Because that's not scriptural. Because everybody come here for that. Like everybody come here for what the American dream. That's right, yeah. Which, you know, know, which the American dream man, you gotta be a, a go down dirty dude, man. Like you like you can see it because like you go somewhere like China, 
What's, what's, what's the population of China? Chinese. Yo, them is all, they, they up. You go to, no, I'm, I'm not talking about numbers, I'm talking about predominantly what people are in China. Oh, God. Chinese. Huh, J huh. Ja Japan. Japanese. Yeah, huh, huh, yeah. Russia. Yeah, Russia. Yeah, all the names that they be speaking huh. yeah, huh. When you come to America, what's the dominant race in America? There is no dominant race in America. It's Everybody is a mountain pot. It's a mountain pot. Everybody's in America. There's no mountain pot. We got Arabs, we got Chinese, we got African, we got Japanese, we got Russians, we got England, we got everybody, Scottish, everybody's here. They just got this whole race going to be destroyed. No, no, they're going to parts of that place. Parts of them going to be destroyed. Wherever, matter of fact, or wherever, the four corners of the earth, wherever we at, they're going to be like, spread on all four corners of the earth. So wherever we at, the Lord's going to destroy them. No? Well, he's not going to destroy the first day. It is regular people. All right, bro. Let's get into it. Verse 6. And I saw the woman drunken. With the blood of the saints, and with the blood of the the, sorry, the blood of the martyrs of of, of Yahweh and when I saw her, I I wondered with great admiration. Read that one more time. Salakia. from the book. 